Hey everybody, I am Toby Vanderbeek from Vanderburn Rocketry. And in the last video, we took a look at a few of the Dynastar rockets from Apogee. Uh, we looked at the LexJet and the Orion and the Snarky. And you guys said, let's take a deeper look at the Snarky. So uh, we are gonna look at the Snarky Dynastar from Apogee. And I'm sure you're all familiar with the Apogee website. Uh, this is the Snarky page. As you can see right in the middle is the Roxim model and Roxim 10 is now available. I highly recommend to check out that program. It's a lot of fun. I use it for most of my rockets. Here is a shot of what it looks like. That is the d free download of the Snarky model. Uh, it's a little funky. There's some things that are in this model that are not in the rocket because it is difficult to do certain things with the SIM program, but you should be able to get uh, what you need out of a SIM program uh, to see what altitudes you can get to with this model. So here is the cover car, very nice full color. And there's Tim on the front. This model is 2.2 uh, .2 inch. 2.217 diameter. We've got two tubes. They're exactly the same. You can use either one for the main body tube. Uh, the second one is for the air intake. You can see underneath or duct and it's got a funny shape to it. The front and back are angled uh, and it also needs to be cut away to fit onto the main body tube. So in order to take care of that, Apogee is included a nice template so that's right here this is for the back and that's for the front and you can see it's a nice curve uh, you wrap that around the tube and it will show you right where to cut along the tube to get the right lines for that intake and to put the fins on in the right order or place uh, there's a sheet here which will wrap around the tube and mark where the fins go and you can see that there are quite a few fins and the reason is um, they are all asymmetrical. Uh, you've got a fin on each side of the body to balance each other out. So this should be a very straight flying rocket. Uh, there is a small fin inside of the duct and that'll counter counterbalance or counteract the rudder. So, uh, we should get some really nice straight flights out of this. Uh, the instructions here are 12 pages. Uh, which is a lot, uh, but that's nice for any skill level. This is rated at a skill level four, uh, which is slightly challenging. I think with these instructions, it's going to be fairly easy uh, to build this. And Apogee has included um, on the back and inside the back uh, full-size drawings of the fins in case you fly this rocket and have a rough landing. Uh, you can easily recreate a fin or a new fin out of balsa no problem there and here is a really nice full color decal sheet uh, these look like peel and stick so we don't have to deal with water slides these are nice uh, pretty heavy uh, maybe vinyl or something like that and speaking of heavy heavy uh, here's the nose cone uh, which will give a nice weight to the front of the model there's a couple of rings here maybe hard to see but up here, there's two little rings that go around except for the mold line. So we're gonna see if that's a feature or not. If we need to sand those off, I'm sure the instructions might mention it. We'll take a look at that. And taking a look at the fins here, <clears throat> the Apogee website indicates that the fins are all laser cut. Um, I did not find that to be the case completely. This sheet, which looks like the main wings and a couple of little pieces that form the, the front and the back of the wings, uh, this is laser cut for sure, uh, but this other sheet, uh, which it looks like the rest of the fins, uh, was definitely not laser cut. Um, it appears to be die cut because it's not cut all the way through. Uh, plus, some of the edges are pretty rough. Uh, looks like some of the balls has kind of been crunched from the die cutting process. So we'll have to fix those up. Uh, I was a little disappointed that that was not laser cut, but uh, none of the fins appear to be damaged uh, excessively, uh, should go together just fine. Um, on the motor tube, 
We've got 24 millimeter motor tube. We've got these uh, paper centering rings. Uh, there's an extra one here. I think this is extra. I don't know where it would go. Uh, it's a, like a bulkhead plate and maybe it's just a generic sheet that Apogee includes with various rockets. Uh, motor tube is 24 millimeter and there's a engine block as well as two um, centering rings which don't seem to really go with this, uh, they go with this size motor tube, but um, they're only slightly larger. So they definitely don't go with this body, but maybe they're used uh, as some kind of support for these uh, thin paper rings. So we'll find that in the instructions. We've got a launch lug, <clears throat> and then we have two different size motor hooks. Uh, this is for E motors and smaller, and this is for E uh, motors and smaller. And uh, I think we'll be using the larger one because we want to get some bigger motors in there and it's um, easy to change or decide on. And then there are these nice little templates or jigs for gluing the, motor tube, for gluing the body tubes. Uh, this will be the main body tube here, so you can see that, and the wings. And then on the bottom will be our air duct after we cut it should fit right in there nicely. So this will help glue the whole thing together. That's really nice to have. Those are made of uh, thick paper. And lastly, for recovery, we've got, I think this is the typical Dynastar parachute, which is something like 32 inches. Um, that's adequate. Uh, the model's not too heavy. Uh, it's just a plastic parachute. And then a nice Kevlar cord. And looking at this size, I'm gonna guess it's somewhere in the two to 300 pound range. So that's, that's pretty nice also. Uh, this kit was designed by Douglas Schrock. He's designed a bunch of rockets for Apogee uh, a, while, a while back and uh, also did some design work for Quest and does a lot of nice uh, sci-fi artistry. So there's our snarky kit. Uh, we will definitely be working on this build in the next video. We'll do this whole thing from start to finish and hopefully uh, see how it flies at the end of that video. So. Stay tuned and thanks for watching. See ya.